hi beautiful people welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new thank you thank you thank you hope you like this content and i hope you consider subscribing and for the other people welcome back thank you so much for your support well i've got the perfect diamond painting for a very gloomy rainy day like it is today in belgium and um it is specially for my friends over at um, australia new zealand where it's summer now this is a christmas painting but you will see what i mean when i tell you it's a summery painting as well I've got for you Christmas Shells by Larry Jones. And I just love the idea. Although I hope they will throw that poor sea star back in the water. Because when it, it stays there on dry land it will surely die. The other shells, I don't know, might be just empty shells. Let's hope so. Anyways... I love this idea so much that I just had to buy this one. 65 centimeters by 86 centimeters. Yeah, it's rather big. It is a square. You can see this by the blue square here and the blue ribbon there and the fact that this has a blue diamond painting. I'm not going to repeat myself too much, but I guess I will repeat myself and ask myself, like, why are most of the diamond paintings now squares at Diamond Art Club? I don't know. But I like my squares, so I don't really mind that much. Let's get into the painting. And I just did my nails, so I'm, <laughs> I'm really scared too. Look, I've got I've got the universe on my nails. Look, nail stickers. It's such a good invention. I'm so happy. I I'm so actually I'm sad I didn't know um of them much longer because that would would um have prevented me from doing many videos with ugly nails. Uh, okay, let's get into this. First of all, I'm going to show you this. This is the little sticker that comes with your kit that is actually meant to put on your box, on the side of your box, so that when you stack your boxes, you know precisely where to find your diamond painting. Uh, I now do that... Because I started to stack my diamond paintings and at one point I was like, you stupid girl, you should have put the stickers on there because now I had to write all the names of the diamond paintings. Um, anyways, so there it goes. Then you have your toolkit. I will show you this because there are some parts of the toolkit that always are different in every toolkit. So... Oh, that's so fun. So, because it's a Christmassy diamond painting, I've got a green pen and a green squishy. A green soft grip that you put on your pen. If you can get it on there, that's not always very easy. To, to, it, uh, I'm going to put it aside and just... Uh, Oops, and there it goes on the ground. Anyways, so that color differs in every toolkit. Also, the I've got this one already. Lately, they've been uh, they've been putting out many flowers, washi tape. So this also is different in every toolkit. And then you have your cover minder. Um, this also is different in every toolkit. Cover minder is used. To this you put behind your painting on the back and this in front and that way snap on there you can uh, prevent your plastic from folding over okay then you have your your tray with a stopper very handy there you go 
And then you have your pair of branded tweezers. Watch out for puncture wounds. So this all only comes in the um, toolkit for square diamond paintings. You have a bag with a bunch of baggies if you want to kit up in baggies. You have your wax heart shaped in a heart shaped tin. How many pieces? Uh, only two pieces? Only two pieces. But it's very good wax so that should do. And you have get your four placer and your seven placer to put down more drills at once. So, I'm very, very curious to see how this is rendered. So, in the kit also comes, I'm sorry, Gypsy. Gypsy is laying next to me in the, in the laundry basket. Say hi. Hi. There she is. She's my little shadow. She's always next to me when I'm here. So you get this sticker with all the info about your diamond painting um, with the diamond painting. Look at that. That's so pretty. And um, this one has got 63 colors. Oh my God. Um, these these drills with the Z, the Z in front of it, those are fairy dust diamonds. And then we have one, two, three ABs because an AB is always a number smaller than 150. So we've got three ABs. Very nice. These are pre cut that makes kitting up easier. So. I'm gonna put the drills aside for just a moment. Let's get into this big boy. Oh, wow. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's still... So, this is poured glue, so you can just roll it back to make sure that it lays flat. Um, there's already bird seed on there and cat hair. Uh, pets, it's a wonderful thing, but uh, <laughs> much cleaning up to do. I should have cleaned my table beforehand, which I didn't. You know me. Do, 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 do. So I just roll it like this. And there you go. So what I want to ask of people who are from Australia or New Zealand. Oh my God, what's that? Is that a little crab? I didn't see that. Let, let me check. Right. Look at that. There's like, and hair. <laughs> There's like this little... Little little thing here, and and it looks to be a crab because it has got two eyes. That's so funny. Um, very well done. Um, <clears throat> so um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was asking if if this is something that you really do in uh, at Christmas time, because that's a really fun way to get a Christmassy feel. I guess those are algae, algae, or, or what, how do you call it? Um, it's, it's pretty, pretty, and the sea star is really pretty. So this part of the painting, that's the, yeah, the waves. I'm not gonna like this particular, this particular part. And the sand, I'm not gonna like that as well. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest up front because, uh, yeah, that's a lot of color blo blocking. That means that you put down a lot of the same color. You can do it with multi-placing, but I, I tend to get bored with that very easy. So um, let's hope there's a lot of um, ABs in there. So colors are mostly, yeah, of course, the, the beach color is, is beige and, and brownish. 
But then you have your green for your um, Christmas tree and for your shells you have a lot of red and blue and purple. Very nice, very nice. I thought it was fun. It's not like, like a diamond painting that I would be like, oh, I can't wait to start this, but um, I like the Christmassy feel of it. So let's get into the drills. Just turning this over. Boop -doo. So color palette. You see, oh, a lot of teal as well. Love that. And you can immediately immediately spot the AB, of course. So I will show you. Sorry, a lot of crinkling, Gypsy, I know. So, a green. Greens. Light. Oh, and here is our first, our first very a uh, little fairy dust diamond. I don't know if you're able to see this, but it has got like these glittery speckles on it, so uh, sprinkled, hence fairy. Three eight six six three packages. Sand color. Of course, sand colors. And here you have your first AB. Do you see this AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which means that you have got this beautiful coating. Aurora Borealis. <laughs> I've got the universe on my fingers. I'm so happy. Um, so, but look at that. That's so beautiful. So um, you've got two packages of them. So a lot of bling. 437, 434. Okay. Then we have a beautiful red. More green. More greens. Browns. More greens. 814. More beige, black. Where's black at? It's only one package, so never mind. Four, three, five, four of them. Okay. Um. Wait. Ah. No, other way around. Okay, like this. Hmm. And here is your second AB. It's a red AB. Well, light red AB. Very beautiful. Six six six. Put some six 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 into the mix. And uh, yeah, here, these are four packages of 436. And then the last string, which has the least amount of colors. Oh, that's a very small amount. 151. Oh, that's a beautiful pink. A baby pink. You have your second fairy dust diamond. It's also a very beautiful salmony pink, like uh, yeah, very beautiful. And there's your last AB, which is an orange one. Oh, that's so gorgeous! So let's check where they go, shall we? Okay, 
So, we are, oh yeah. So, my eye catches it. Like here in the shell, there will be a lot of ABs, red ABs. Uh, also there in, in that shell over there, here. And in the sea star? No, none, none in the sea star. But yeah, in the shells. Then, oh, but uh, number two will be in the sea star. So the orange AB will also be here. Also in the red shells. Um, yeah, do I see more? Not really. And then the white one. But listen, the white one. Maybe this won't be so boring after all. All the white that you see here will be a b that's that's awesome isn't it and then um you see those white specks everywhere and the white that's on the shells that will be a b as well no not here but on the shells the specks the white specks over there some in the in the i don't know if it's a stone or a shell uh, over there so yeah, here and there you do, uh, here and there, well, you have a lot of white. So, um, yeah, that will be a B as well, the white one. And then we had that beautiful pink uh, fairy dust. Wait, I need to check the symbol. Okay. Mm. Oh, in the shell here. There will be some, and here in the shell. So yeah, also in the shells, and then the second one. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. So the light color green that you see here, that also will all be uh, fairy dust. So yeah, I, I think it's a fun diamond painting. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I've got I I've got one more Christmas diamond painting coming up. I guess I think yeah, I've got one more. And uh, to finish off this video, uh, ow, <laughs> ow, my my lazy arm just nipped me. Um. I'm going to show you where I'm at with my Rose Agency. I am filming the process for people... Oh, there's a sticker coming loose. Uh, maybe I should glue it. Um, I'm filming the process for people who are interested. But um, here and there, there are some things that are difficult. You get... You do get... Um, like uh, backup whenever something breaks um but some some of those pieces are really um sensitive look you've got a suitcase there and can't see really see it wait maybe i i should get you closer there's a pipe in there there are bottles there's um the magnifying glass, typical Sherlock Holmes magnifying glass. There's a pond. In the pond, there's a, a pistol somewhere. Yeah, there. Um, it says keep out fire um, thing. The front door. Um, wait, I'm going to show you something fun about the front door. There's like uh, this, this thing underneath. So you can open and close the front door. Um, so this one is inspired by uh, Sherlock Holmes. You've got a table there with some flowers and uh, here you've got an umbrella stand. I do need to make the lights for the outside so there will be a lantern here and a lantern there but honest to God I've been trying, trying to put these small pieces on there and up till now I haven't succeeded to do that. So I'm, I'm really, <laughs> it's so, some things are really hard. So I made a lot of books already. 
and uh, the chair is it's a bit bit crooked and uh, now I'm going to build a table and a an, uh, cupboard and everything so yeah it's it's going well this one will now it, it's it's going like this but once the the top floor is on there that won't be too much of a problem but it's beautiful isn't it I love this this case of blue rose mm -hmm. interesting the chair the stairs were a little bit difficult to put in but uh, I managed to do so so I'm very happy and that candle broke so I had to glue it <laughs> push too hard <laughs> and it broke uh, anyways so I will glue this do you see because this is the mailbox and there's a newspaper inside that's so awesome so uh, that's it for me today thank you so much for watching hope you have a lovely weekend ahead and I will see you in the next video thank you so much Bye.